Hey everybody, welcome back to Holy Roller Guitars. Today we have a gold sparkle, sparkle-ish Stratocaster, and it is a Squire uh, by Fender Strat Affinity. I believe it's like a 2000s. Um, if I haven't yet, I will post a video of leveling out these frets and changing out this pick guard, but I did try my best to try and get this indention out of the first fret. It did suffer a really bad indention like something hit it. I don't believe that was done by the strings. Um, these over here were done by the string, but I tried to get those out as best I could. Hey everybody, we'll be giving away another coffee mug once the channel hits 1000 subscribers. So if you like what you see, please consider subscribing, like the video, uh, share, and uh, comment down below. Take care, God bless. Uh, keep an eye out when the channel hits 1000, we'll make a video and give another one of these away. We did change out the pick guard already, so we have to take this off to look at the pickups. Uh, but everything is stock, it's all Squire. Uh, but I just wanted to show you all the specs on this guitar. So we're going to get some neck specs, uh, body uh, depth, you know, see if this is different from a Made in Mexico. And I do love this headstock. It is the jumbo headstock. One of the tuners is bad. Uh, it's from a different guitar. Uh, this one is bad as well. It's broken actually. Uh, but the rest of them are pretty good. So we have a replacement for this one coming up. And then uh, this one, we're just going to leave it like that. Let's get to the tech specs. I believe this is a uh, limited uh, color. I could be mistaken. Uh, but I do believe that it is a limited edition sparkle. So let me turn off this this light over here. And then we can get this in the just the shop light. So that's pretty cool. I really like that. You know, you really only see that with Gibsons. But yeah, it's pretty awesome to see this and this guitar. So, yep. Oh, and we also do have to solder this uh, output jack. But we did change out all the screws because the screws were all corroded. As you can kind of see here and there. Um, the gig bag that this was in got wet and so that happened. I haven't taken off this plastic yet because I'm going to do that after tech specs when I put the strings on it. But yeah, these frets came out beautiful uh, before they were really corroded. Um, but yeah, let's get to the specs. Uh, starting off with the pickups, we'll get the pickup impedance, and then we'll take a look at the pickups and the electronics. Okay, so here we go. Everything fully open. <laughs> 4.91 for the bridge. Wow, that's low. Uh, middle and bridge, we have 2.50 middle pickup. We have 5.04 uh, neck and middle. We have 2.53. So the neck pickup is going to be 5.03. So it's pretty crazy. These are hotter than the bridge. I thought the bridge would have been a little bit hotter. It would be cool to put that Texas Special in here, but time will tell. <laughs> this is not mine. It's a friend of mine's. So yeah, there's the pickups. Now let's take a look at the pickups. Uh, see what they look like. So here's what we have for the pots and the capacitor. I actually saw these uh, when I changed up the pick guard. These are 500K pots, full size. And then this is a uh, green capacitor. Not sure if that is a 47K. So 0.047K. Uh, capacitor, we have your PCB board here. These are your Squire pickups. I'm pretty sure they're just like some ceramic kind of pickup. Um, but yeah, this is the back of them. And uh, I think, uh, I don't know if I can get the, they're like a dark wired. But yeah, that's that. This is the inside of the body. So the inside is routed traditionally down there, uh, but up here it's routed for a humbucker and then probably a humbucker single coil, or you know, you can do two humbuckers. Uh, but yeah, big routings here, so you can put a humbucker here if you're looking at getting one of these. Uh, the bridge, I think it's going to be fixed. It's all the way flat uh, down there, so uh, I'm not going to do anything with that. But looking in here, um, I think I might get the vacuum in there to clean that up. So uh, from here, let me just clean some of this up. There's, you know, I'm surprised that, dang. That's polished up. That's not like uh, the other squires that are not polished. So that's pretty cool. Let me clean this up and then we can move up to the neck. Not sure if this is my favorite part or my first favorite or second favorite. Uh, but neck specs, I do really like neck specs. Um, this is a 25 and a half 
inch scale length, so standard for Fender guitars. We're gonna start off with inches and then work our way to millimeters. Looking at the screen here, we have my favorite at the first fret. It's 0.89, so that should equivalent to 21.8 millimeters. And at the 12th fret, we have 0 0.90, which should be 23.2 millimeters. Alrighty, let me know if y'all want to see anything else on next. Uh, I'm going to get y'all the radius, which should be 9.5, and then I'll get y'all the contour of the back. Yeah, so it's a 9.5 radius, and yep, so 9.5 radius, and let me get the uh, contour gauge so we can look at the first and 12th fret. Alrighty, so I'm not sure why I was having trouble on this side of this contour. Uh, but here's the 12th, which is a larger one. It looks more like a C. And then here's the first on the right. That is uh, clearly a C uh, shaped neck. So uh, not sure how to really tell which one's modern and which is vintage or any of those things. But just knowing that it's a C shape, you know, fender neck, it should be like every other <laughs> fender C shaped neck, um, which feels really nice. And uh, yeah, feels pretty good, looks pretty good. Uh, let's get the weight of this guitar without the strings. Um, let's get the weight of it. And I think we should be pretty much done after getting the uh, thickness of the body. Just to see if it's any different from a made in Mexico or an American. Okay, so for the weight we have seven pounds, 5.4 ounces. And for kilograms, we have 3.325 kilograms so this is the best way that i can try and see if i can get this body thickness um, so here at the horn we have 1.60 and then at the bottom end let me see if i can zoom in we have 1.48 so let me get the made in mexico and see what the difference is Alrighty. so here we have my made in mexico sorry for being so close uh, but we have 1.85 so that's off by 0.15 um, this is sticker of course and the bottom is reading uh, 1.83 so yep there is a difference in the body the made in Mexico of course and I'm pretty sure the American are going to be thicker uh, pieces of wood there for the body compared to uh, the squire line so my daily advice that I want to leave y'all with is of course John 316 uh, with the Passion, Easter, Good Friday, all that being just past, uh, what I want to leave out with is for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall have everlasting life. I believe I left this scripture a while back, uh, but I just, you know, especially with Easter and everything, uh, I just felt like I needed to say it again. And uh, my daily advice is just to spread love spread the love that Christ has, has given us and uh, try to live in peace as best as you can and just live a happy life. So that is my advice that I want to leave y'all off with. If anyone has anything that they want to share like scripture wise or, or anything about Easter, um, let me know uh, down in the comment section. But that's it for the end of this video. Yeah, this guitar has made a transformation especially with the frets, but also with the pick guard and all the hardware, you know, most of the hardware being changed out. Hopefully before this video has come out, I would share with y'all the, uh, the, the demo and the review, and then I'll try and get the serial number and find out what year this guitar is, and uh, if it's a limited edition or not. So all of y'all, take care, God bless. Uh, we love y'all, and I will see you on the next one. Here's a little clip of the body and the paint, the knobs. This is the way I like to leave the knobs. Straight, looking at you. And I already took off the plastic on the pick guard. So, yep, there you have it. God bless you. Take care.